Hey guys, uh, today I wanted to discuss um, anytime you get either a stack overflow or an overflow error message in Microsoft Access. Now I received this type of error message uh, probably a couple years ago, um, five, six years, and it's the first time I've seen the message. Um, and this was a pre existing database, huge, tons of tables, tons of queries. So I'm coming in, not designing the database, but coming in and overseeing and, 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 and checking things out and, and uh, analyzing to find out what queries and tables are working, uh, what needs to be eradicated, deleted. So I wanted to show you just a couple of basic things to look for when you get an overflow message. I'm going to go ahead to one of my queries and instead of opening it up to get that message I'm just going to go into design view and write this out here and of course it takes you directly to the SQL statement uh, I just like to see what I have so uh, I'm going to take it into design mode and as you can see um, it already gives you a message that either one or more fields may have been deleted or renamed. Um, it's, there's a certain name or a field or a table in a joined expression. It might be misspelled, things like that, or there might be some symbols that are causing the issue. So, of course, I'm just going to bypass all that and go directly into my query. I'll back out of here. And it just looks like it's pulling basic information from these two tables. And it's trying to do a rank at the end. So the first thing, uh, the most basic thing is, since these are tables that have been inserted into the query, go to your table section. And as you can tell, go here. You have table A and table B, and the tables are nowhere to be found. And that something as simple as that will cause that error to appear. So the simple thing that you can do is either delete the tables, reassign the tables with something that already exists, and rerun the query. And It'll work from there. Um, let me just show you an example of that. Pulling out that. So I got data three, four, five, and average PP SHQ. So it looks kind of similar to some of these. So I'm just going to pull. those specific tables and I'm going to do the same relationship just tie those two one to one make these smaller here pull the same information Looks like they're just pulling everything from one table. Remove these tables here. And I'm just doing a simple run. It's going to take a little while because it's feeding through a lot of information. Um, and right now, this table or this query generated about 20,000 results. So it just took a little while. But um, so that's another workaround. Anytime you get a stack overflow or an overflow message, uh, just first go to your tables to make sure they even exist. 
use the same objects that was used before but in your new result and um, that's a way to do it uh, feel free to like subscribe and comment and um, check out our other videos on our channel and you can also visit our website at www.magicsystems.com thanks